Hi, my name is Sabrina Beck. I am the product manager for the app development with SWIFT certification program at Certiport. Today, I want to share with you a brief overview of the Develop and SWIFT program and the resources available to help support learning in your classroom. SWIFT and Xcode are two very integral and intuitive tools that professionals use to build our favorite apps. SWIFT is Apple's native programming language used to write apps for all Apple platforms. It was designed to be anyone's first programming language and can open the doors to the world of coding. Xcode is Apple's Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, for all of Apple's operating systems. It is a toolbox developers use to build apps written with Swift and other Apple developer tools. Yes, both require Mac OS to run. Both are free for download either from the App Store or from the Apple developer website. Develop in Swift is a comprehensive coding curriculum available from Apple. It prepares students for college or a career in app development using the Swift programming language. It's complemented with free online professional learning for educators and certification for students. All Develop in Swift books are available for download for free from the Apple Bookstore. Last year, we announced the release of two new app development with Swift certification exams that align with the Develop and Swift curriculum and Xcode 12. This summer, these exams will be updated to align with Xcode 13. Since some may not be familiar with the new exams, I will provide you with a brief recap. App Development with Swift Associate is designed to certify knowledge of the impact of computing and apps on society, economies, and cultures, all while exploring iOS app development. Based on Xcode 13 and aligned with the Develop and Swift Explorations curriculum, this exam is perfect for candidates who are new to coding and want to explore iOS app development. The App Development with Swift Certified User exam aligns with the Develop in Swift Fundamentals curriculum. Also based on Xcode 13, it certifies candidates have the knowledge of core concepts and practices that professional Swift programmers use on a daily basis. This certification is intended for candidates who have coding experience but are new to the Swift coding language. I mentioned earlier that Swift and Xcode require Mac OS to run. However, since both exams are delivered through Compass, they can be taken in either a Mac or a PC and are also available on exams from home. The Develop and Swift courses and certifications are designed to help high school and higher education students earn recognition for their Swift knowledge. One of the most frequent questions I receive from educators is which exam is the right exam to teach in their classroom? The answer, is it depends. Explorations is designed to help learners with little to no computer science background learn to code with the Swift programming language. It is ideal for high school students exploring computer science tracks, but can also be taught in higher ed as a course for non-computer science majors or as an elective. Explorations also has a high alignment with the Develop in Swift APCS Principles curriculum. Students who take an AP course taught with the Develop and Swift curriculum will also be prepared to sit for the associate exam. Fundamentals and data collections are designed for learners who have basic coding knowledge and experience and want to build their app development skills using Swift. Although both courses can be taught in advanced high school classrooms, we tend to see these courses taught predominantly in higher ed for CS majors. Regardless of the pathway students follow, by the time they complete data collections, they should have all the skills needed to produce their own app with the potential to be successful in the App Store. As I mentioned earlier, the Develop and Swift curriculum is available for download from the Apple Bookstore. If you or your students do not have access to Mac outside of your classroom, Courseware for both Fundamentals and Explorations is available for download for LMS in Canvas Commons. Educators whose school uses an LMS other than Canvas can create a free for teachers account at canvas.instructure.com. 
Apple for Education wants educators to feel confident and prepared to teach, develop, and Swift. They provide a free professional learning course designed to help educators learn the foundational knowledge needed to teach Swift and Xcode effectively. This self-paced course is available through Canvas Learning. For educators who prefer in-person learning, Apple has partnered with NC3 to offer a two-week training seminar for either the Explorations or Fundamentals curriculum. Participants will learn how to code with Swift and best practices that educators have used to build successful Swift programs. They will also have the opportunity to earn the App Development with Swift Associate or Certified User Certification at the end of training. To learn more and to register, visit nc3.net backslash training. Because I want you to be successful in building your Swift program, I would strongly encourage you to visit the Apple for Education website. It contains resources designed to support learning, such as design workbooks your students can use in class, resources for coding clubs, and resources to help you hold your own app design showcase. You can also register for the self-paced professional development course available through Canvas I mentioned earlier by scrolling down to the Learn to Teach Swift section located on the lower portion of the web page. To navigate to the Apple for Education website, go to certreport.com backslash Apple and click on the Teaching Code with Apple link located on the right-hand side of the webpage. The best way to set your students up for success is to follow the Learn, Practice, Certify advanced model. As such, the Develop and Swift exams are always bundled with the practice tests. They are available either as an individual voucher or as a classroom site license. You will be able to use the vouchers and licenses for either of the app development with Swift exams. Finally, thank you for all you do to help your students explore app development and expand their knowledge of Swift and Xcode. If you have any questions about these updates or if you want more information on the new Swift exams, feel free to contact your student report representative. Thank you for joining me and have a wonderful day.